Hi, HSA parents and students. This is Ms. McGee, and I'm here to show you how to leave comments in Google Classroom as well as to use Google Meets. Um, there's a few things I wanted to show you before I showed you how to do how to leave comments. Um, I am working with the teacher edition of Google Classroom, so my screen looks a little bit different than what you might see with your students. Google Classroom, the main difference is I have this grade section here, but I'm not going to be using that, so I'm not worried about it. Um, students will have stream, classwork, and people in their classroom. Um, the two that we are going to mainly be using for this is stream and classwork. When students sign into Google Classroom, the first thing they see is actually the stream. This works a lot like your Facebook news feed. It has important posts from teachers as well as posts about new materials and assignments. It's very simple to leave a comment. So I'm going to go to this um, post that I had posted earlier. To leave a comment, you can just click your cursor right into the comment bar. And this is a class co comment, so everybody in the classroom is able to see this. In a second, I'll show you how to leave a private comment, so just you and the teacher can view it. But you'll just put your cursor right in there and leave whatever kind of message. I'm just going to put hi and click the purple arrow to post it. And as you can see, it'll post automatically. Again, everybody in the class can see this. For private comments, I'm going to go into classwork. And again, mine's a little bit different, so I'm going to click on this assignment here. Go to view assignment, and I'm going to switch over to instruction. Now, this is the part I have to walk you through because I don't have the, I don't have the same screen as a student does. But over in on this right-hand side, this blank white area that you see on mine, on the student screen, it's actually much different. It will have a section up at this top right underneath your toolbar that will say add file or add form. And you would click on that to add a up, to upload a file of the assignment that you might have completed or upload a form that you might have completed for the assignment. Again, mine does not have that. Directly underneath that section, you'll see a little section over here in the bottom right corner that'll say add private comment. Um, it'll look very similar to how the class comment section does. It has the comment bar as well as um, the posting arrow. You would just write whatever you would need to in there to the teacher, like maybe you have a question, like I don't understand the directions, and click send and it'll post directly. It'll notify the teacher that there is a private comment. She can reply to you directly. Again, this is completely private between the student and the teacher not the entire class, and that will be found on the right-hand side, both of those options, uploading files and leaving private comments. Sorry, I can't show you that exactly on my screen, but it's pretty simple once you see it in person, so play around with your student's go, um, Google Classroom account. The next thing I want to show you is Google Meets. There's quite a few ways to get to Google Meets and to, and to access them. The first thing I'm going to say is always refer to communication from your teacher. Um, if you request a conference with your teacher or you just want to have a chit chat between your student and the teacher, always reach out to your teacher first in whatever preferred method of communication that they might have. Um, once you have decided on a date and, and a time, most likely the teacher is going to send you a Google Meets invite. This will come directly to your email and it looks very similar to this. Once you get it, if you scroll all the way, it'll always say, just really fast, it'll always say invite from the user. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it gives you the option to reply with yes, maybe, or no. Um, please, please, please reply so the teacher knows whether you are attending, whether you're not sure, maybe things have changed since you guys have talked about it, or no, you can absolutely not make it. Um, so, by clicking those, again, you let the teacher know, and it sets you up to go, to, to go directly into Google Meets. I'm going to show you now the easiest way to get into Google Meets. I'm going to go back to my classroom, and if you look here, up on my toolbar, there's this um, Google Apps waffle. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to go down to this icon here, the Google Meet icon. When I click on that, because I've agreed to the meeting, because I've agreed to the meeting, it takes me into the Google Meet window. The meeting, I've, I've scheduled a fake meeting with myself, and it's this Google Meets intro. I can go ahead and click on that. 
And once I do this, the screen will show up with uh, my, my view of the camera. So I can choose to mute my mic on or off. And I can also choose to turn my camera off or on. So those are the two options that you can have. Um, if it is a large meeting, I would suggest turning your camera off as well as your mic. You can always turn it back on once you have joined the meeting. Uh, to actually go into the meeting, just click join now. And you are in the meeting. Again, like I said, you can turn your mic off and on. You can turn your camera off and on. There's also an option to use closed captions. So once you turn that on, anything this, the presenter is saying will show up right at the screen, as you can see right here at the bottom. And say you don't need it anymore, you can turn it right back off. So that's how once you are in Google Meets, that's exactly how to use it. So that is the easiest way to get to Google Meets. I will show you one more time. So from any, it could be any um, Google bar, uh, you could be just on google.com, it doesn't matter, as long as you have your waffle, go to the waffle, click Google Meets, and it'll take you, it'll take you directly to your Google Meets um, window. The other way you can do it is going back to the invitation. It'll give you a Google Meets link. You can click right on that. And just like the other window that we saw, this will give you the option again to turn camera off and on, uh, camera off and on, microphone off and on, and you will just click join now. This meeting has already happened, so I'm the only one here. To exit a meeting is really simple. You actually just close out the window that you are using. This is a new feature um, that Google Classroom has just added today. Um, so. Again, I'm going to go back to say just always refer to how your teacher wants to use Google Meets, um, but it is now accessible in Google Classroom. So if your teacher has turned on her Google Meets link in her classroom or his or her classroom, it'll be right underneath on the main stream page. So again, once you first log on, you're on the stream under their title page, under their section, under their class, co class code will be the Google Meet link. You can click on that. And it will open up your Google Meets window once again. You can turn off and on your mic, click join. Uh, this is my option because I'm the presenter. I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. But once again, you are now in your Google Meets. So those are the three easiest ways um, to get into Google Meets. I hope that was helpful, um, and I hope it was helpful for, for comments. Um, any questions, always feel free to reach out to your teacher. Hopefully, they'll be able to help navigate that through you, and, hope that, and I hope that gives you some kind of idea how to use comments and how to use Google Meets. Thank you. Bye.